Hello, my name is Mark White, hair and makeup artist here in New York City. A few of my clients have asked, when I'm at home, I really want to make a hairdo that I can go out with, that I can put some rollers into to have, you know, that wave or the Veronica wave going on. What could I do? Because most of the rollers that I've used, which would be the Velcro rollers or, you know, some hot rollers that have some pins into it or something, what could I use that's not going to pull my hair? Because sometimes I get my hair stuck in it and then they have so much trouble, then they've ruined the whole hairdo because they've got a roller stuck in there and everything else. So what I've suggested, it takes a little bit longer uh, to get dry, but what I like to do is to use the hair rollers that are just the plain, regular plastic rollers. They call them the uh, magnetic rollers because it's kind of like magnetic to water. They really like to stick to water. And so you just want to make sure that the hair section, each one that you do, is very well moistened. Otherwise, it won't work well. Uh, for the ends, a lot of people end up getting a lot of fish hooks. What you can do is just like what you do for a perm, and you can put one of those little papers over the ends. But what you want to do is stretch out press the hair onto there and as you can see it just likes to stick itself and then from there you're just going to gently roll keeping the tension and just rolling it down keep that tension on there she has a little short pieces here into the front so i'll just pick it up since i've gotten there i'll use my comb with a tail flip it under and then i'll use roller clips they have a little bit of a hole to the bottom that will you know support holding onto the roller slide one in there which usually that's all i do is one but a lot of my friends and clients they like to use two to make sure because once they do their rollering at home they like to go and do something while the hair is drying or they sit underneath the dryer it's just added security so that that roller will not slip and then you're just going to take your next section down Make sure that you section the same size as the roller diameter itself and the length of it as well. If you take more than what there is, then what's going to happen is you're going to end up with it buckling and not sitting correct. So just pull to the ends, wrap that around, just keep the tension on there. If you see a couple hairs pop out, just use the end of a tail comb and press it in. Some people like to wiggle a little bit just to keep that tension in there. Roll to the bottom. Stick a pin into the bottom. You don't want to stick it onto the top, otherwise you will end up having a roller mark. And those are not pretty and they're hard to get out. And then from there, these rollers will be very simple to pull out. They won't catch on anything and she will have a wonderful Veronica wave onto this one side. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Weiss, hair and makeup artist here in New York. See you soon.